guys, um, so today I want to have a very important discussion with Michelle. But first, let me let you in on it. Okay, I want to discuss boys because you know she's making 18 very soon, and this is a very sensitive stage for kids where they end up like having relationships and some want to talk to the parents. As a mother, I would think it's very, very important for kids to, to have such discussions with their parents. So I want to see if Michelle can be honest with me and tell me because this is something we've, we've barely talked about. So I want to see if she can be honest and open to talk about it. So hey, don't you go. I love you. I love you so much and I can't wait to have this discussion with her. It's a very beautiful day today so anyway thank you for keeping up here she is i'm gonna i'm gonna ask her michelle hang on wait hi <laughs> oh, no way <laughs> okay. yeah i um um i wanted to ask you a quick question yeah um do you have a boyfriend no you don't have a boyfriend are you serious? <laughs> Why? No, no. You don't? No. Hi guys, my name is Desire, Michelle, and uh, we're happy to be back to bring you more of our thoughts. I guess you saw Michelle's reaction and um, you were asking me why I was asking you such a random question. question. I believe you're at that age where teens love to date and they think it's cool dating. Mama, before you go any further, it's not like people just date to have fun. It's, I don't even know how to put it in words, but it's a feeling. Mama, you can't stop yourself from liking somebody if you really do. You know what I mean? Yeah, I totally understand its feelings, but I believe parents need to guide the teens, especially on the dangers of dating. I think, well, I'm, I'm, I, I mean, I do agree. We can't have much control of our feelings, but yeah. parents need to, uh, teach this, you know, need to have this conversation with their teen kids about the cons and pros of dating. You understand? Yeah. It's not a bad thing to date, but it's it's not safe if you just go into it without knowing the, the dangers and the precautions and the do's and don'ts. So, I wanted to have this topic with you so that someone out there a teenager or a parent can be can have the confidence to know that it is imperative such a discussion with their children to guide them you know you can have a boyfriend but know when to have sex and when to, not to have sex personally i had michelle when i was 19 and every time i, I speak to you i think we do have our promise yeah, yeah. um and what do i always tell you no sex before marriage good i always tell her no sex before marriage why do i insist because sometimes uh, teenagers get into this and they end up having sex and it's not safe at all and at the end of the day it also regards the religion i follow uh -huh. because i grew up in a christian household both sides of my family and it's literally written in the Bible. I'm gonna try to look up no, that verse. Your we can touch it out. Yeah. yeah. Um, there is a verse that literally talks about uh, abstinence sex before marriage because sex is a gift from God, I believe. And one, like, once you have it, you're literally emotionally, emotionally and spiritually attached to that person. I believe, right? Oh, that's true. In one way or the other. And then the Bible happen. also says our bodies are temples of God. Yeah. And once you give it out you're giving out God's temple so when you re when we related to what we're talking about children our teenagers engaging into sex as early I mean you're giving out God's temple and marriage is a gift from God so you preserve yourself you preserve yourself for marriage for your very best for your husband and it's and so. to save yourself until marriage it's sweeter it is very very um, adorable and amazing i mean i've had friends and sisters and i mean they've got married you know virgins and it's amazing i i feel so proud of them and i would love you to go through the same steps and i always tell you i made a mistake and had you earlier my wish is for you to wait until marriage and well 
Okay, you okay, <laughs> <I> promise. <laughs> All right, that's a very good one. And I do trust you, by the way. That's why when I asked you, do you have a boyfriend? Because we barely had this conversation. Yeah, we haven't no. had it before. Yeah, but I needed to know. Also, one thing I wanted to talk about is parents need to um, be open with their children. Make, you know, I always talk about being your best friends yeah. with your children or to your children. It helps bridge that gap. It helps, and if you ever get to a point, like I said, you can't really stop yourself from liking someone. So you can literally ask your parents for advice. Like if I ever get to that point, I'm for sure gonna ask my mom. You will? I hope. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I will, of course I will. Yeah, you should because I mean, I've, I've walked down that road. I should be your sure. best advisor. And I would be so proud when you confide in me and you tell me yeah also one thing I want to caution parents is not to be hard on your children once yeah. you find out they are dating or they are cold or anything. it really doesn't yeah okay. it does not it does not um one thing I know is if anything sorry <laughs> if anything it's gonna cause your kids to go behind your back and start dating people without you even knowing and before you know it anything could happen and boom one thing will lead to another. Absolutely, absolutely. Do you have scenarios where children have preference, like they're open to the mother or, or open to the father? It is okay because we're all human beings and we all react different. Sure. You know, the father could be tougher or the mother could be tougher and the child find it, finds it safer or um, they find it easier to speak to the, the you know one of the either of the parents it should be very okay but one thing you should know is never to lose that trust if your child confides in you do not break that trust that shows they have trusted you with their little secrets and they want you to walk with them in that path so don't break that trust you have to guide them I don't believe in spanking. I never believe in spanking, and I. <laughs> no doubt. Honestly, Michelle, I have raised you. How many times have I? Like three, three times, three or twice. I could hardly but remember. I really apologize after. Yeah, I did apologize because I realized. It was out of anger. Yeah, it was out of anger, but then also, I didn't mean to. One thing I believe in is, uh, if you speak to a child and tell them the do's and don'ts, they should be able to understand, they should be able to tell how you're feeling about the wrongs they're doing and they should be able to make up and sure. not do it. That's how I relate with Michelle. So if a child came to you and told me, and, and told you they are dating, the first thing you should think of is, oh, my child has trusted me, what am I gonna do? And you should handle that, you, you should embrace it. And you can maybe tell them how you feel about it and give them a little, like, some restrictions. Because I'm pretty sure if I had that conversation with my mom, she would be like, okay, that's fine, but don't do this, do this, don't do this, you know? Yeah. So, it pretty much has both of you on the same page, if I make sense. Yes, but, well, um, that was pretty much what we wanted to talk about, and... Did you want to talk about it? Oh, it was I don't idea. know. I, I think it was a good idea, to be honest. It was, it was you know, a good thing you know. Let me tell you why. I, how I thought about it is because um, one time a friend spoke to me and they were seeking advice because one of their children uh, confided in in him about his relationship and he didn't know how to handle the situation. And I was like, you know what you have to do is to appreciate the fact that that child has confided in you. That means they're trusting you. So if they chose to tell you not the mother. You either keep the secret and not tell the mother, or you tell the mother and tell her not to react. In my opinion, I wouldn't tell because there's a reason as to why he they has not to told. Yeah, they chose to you. confide in you, and you need to embrace it because if you show that you don't like it and then you treat your child a certain way, they're gonna lie to you, pretend it's over, and still do it, and you don't know how far they're gonna go, and they'll yeah. mess up. So I was like, embrace it and speak to them openly. Tell yeah. them what to do and what not to do. Right. Ask him to meet the girl. Maybe uh -huh. get to know the family. You could go like on a, on a like date or outing. Try to know the, the girl he's dating. Yeah, you should be able to tell 
the character and then you can also warn him and you're like you know what i think this girl mm -mm. yeah it's yeah. a little bit of red yeah. flags in there yeah. so you're gonna have to but yeah. you have to be sensitive you don't want to throw everything in their face because they're gonna mm -hmm. feel like you're rejecting their feelings or you know what whatever their idea is that's true so i and then it, it got back to me and i'm like mm. We hardly talk about this conversation with you, so I'm going to ask you, but I do want to ask you in the closet. I wanted to ask you on camera so you can give us an honest opinion and an honest answer. So kudos to you. Thank you. Keep keeping safe. I'm so proud of you. I'm sure I should let you be done. Anyways, guys. <laughs> By the um, way, no wait before you close. No. no, I just remembered. Do you know the feeling Michelle gets? When she speaks an English word correct. Avanga wangu ya kalulu. Mama, stop it. Anyways, guys, no. No wait. No. So, mom. No wait. So that the next video, I'm, the next clip I'm gonna show you is her reaction when she pronounces or speaks an English word. Man. Hey, it's no. such a celebration. <laughs> anyway, guys, I love you and thank you. Thank you so much. We say, yeah, we love you and yeah. we hope to bring you more videos. Thank you for being yeah. patient for mine and mine. Yeah, per. Yeah, so don't you forget to like and subscribe because we got a lot in stock for you. And we love you and may God keep you safe. Yeah. Students, kids, love your parents. Be open to them. You can never have a best friend more than your pause, own. Pause, pause, oh, pause. sure. <laughs> yeah, most kids actually do love their parents. It's about how open, strict their parents are. I don't know how to say this, but no, being strict, I think I is okay. But how? Like, no, how I'm you doing it? I'm talking like way too strict to the point that they can't even have a conversation with them. Like not even make jokes around with them. You know what I I'm agree. talking about. Yeah. So, yeah. so parents loosen up. up. You yeah. we, you can choose to be strict. I mean, by the way, when you look at me, I don't think. Well, someone might think hey, she's. Yeah. Someone, someone might, might think, think I'm not strict. But she is actually do kind of fear her when it comes to some stuff. She could tell me something, and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. I think it's about how you you uh, you put your points across. Yeah. That matters, not how you react. You know, for the most part, yeah. Yeah. So don't. Can as a times have changed. Put away the the role. The long. All is wrong. Only one. Okay, guys. Put away the logs, the spanking, and speak to your children. True. That way, it will help. And your relationship will get way better. Not when you meet one, but like for the past few days, we were not talking with Misha. Stop it. <laughs> Guys, we love. We didn't speak for like a whole week, but we're not gonna speak. About it. I'll talk about it someday, maybe. That's if, right. <laughs> if you're willing to open up. Anyway, guys, we love you. We love you. We love you so much. Bye. Be safe. Obnoxious. It's obnoxious. <laughs>